This movie is called Deception, and I feel deceived. I think it's appropriate. At first I thought, oh, well this is going to be good because it stars two actors who are hot and have great foreign accents, and uh, they seem like smart guys, and they've made other good movies. So I'm reading this, and I'm talking about the two stars, Ewan McGregor and Hugh Jackman. So I'm thinking, like, okay, this has potential. It's called Deception. Like, ooh, maybe it's a, a drama or a or a thriller, whatever it is, it's got to be smart and snappy because these two guys, they're good actors, right? So then I start to read the description, which involves a guy in a sex club and his new lawyer friend, and somehow he becomes the, the prime suspect in not only a murder case, but also some high-profile heist. So, some idiot in Hollywood took all the bad movie plots in the world, put them all in a bag, shook them up, and spilled them out onto a piece of paper, well, hundreds of pieces of paper, stapled it together, called it a script, showed it to a stupid executive who said, oh, good idea! And somehow, this movie got made. But I still have a question about how this happened, which is even if some idiot scrambled together all the bad plots and another idiot green greenlit it, how did Ewan McGregor and Hugh Jackman end up in it? Hmm. Guys, Ewan, Hugh, we need to sit down and have a chat. The three of us need to take a little time out and think about why we're making the choices we're making. The bad choices we're making. Well, you'd be making the bad choices. I, by taking a time out with the two of you, would be making a good choice. But.